What's good, y'all? It's Sonny from Slime Green Beats. Today we're going to take a look at tips and tricks with hi-hat patterns, and we're going to look at quantization and humanizing using grooves and levels. Before we get started, go ahead and check out the book, How to Make Beats. You can find it on slimegreenbeats.com or Amazon. It's a book The Wave and I wrote. It's incredible, and we talk about basics on how to make beats, and I you could use this as a beginner, advanced, it doesn't matter. It's nice and concise. You can bring it anywhere. So to get started uh, with the hi-hats, first you're going to go in your browser, pick a hi-hat that you love, and then we're going to play that hi-hat. Sounds good to me. We're going to go at the very top of the browser, go under scores. I know a lot of y'all probably didn't know this, but there are scores and under quanti quantization. You can find humanizing presets. The presets are going to have patterns. So the grooves are going to have straight patterns. The levels are going to have patterns with different note velocities, meaning how hard you hit them. So you can bring in the patterns. So for example, you can bring in the triplets new, which is one of my favorite ones. And you see how it's just going to add this different pattern right there. show you a couple other ones here find my spot here you can bring in the swing I like to lower the BPM so I use a lot of these when I have beat block actually you can use a push pull heavy and you see the velocity is still the same if you bring in the hip hop hats uh, do that. If you bring in hip hop hats it's just gonna bring them in with a different velocity pattern so a nice little quick trick you could do is you could just start taking away some of them. And of course you can click you can click these uh, velocities around down here and move them around. I also like to pan them so like they come from the left and right side of your ear just to give it like a little bit more feel. So now it's just banging left and right in my ears. I don't know if you guys can hear that if you have he headphones on. So when you use levels and grooves, it really adds a lot more bounce to your tracks. So, for example, let me just add a snare. I'll just sound, pick this snare. This sounds really funky. type of beat this is but we're gonna make it let's add like a little kick in here I don't know what this is but I kind of dig it. <laughs> uh, let's just add a roll in here. Just do this. this is, let's just do a quick con qu quick chop of the beat. Uh, or quick chop of the hi hat. So I'm holding control. I'm dragging it. Click Alt U for the shortcut to chop up the hi hat. And then do a Control C, Control V. Somebody can write in the comment what type of beat this is, because I don't know, I don't know what this beat is. It kind of sounds funky with these hot hats. See, it has a little bit more life, even if with a lame beat like this. With those hi hats, you know.
anyway, you guys get the point. Uh, that's how you can add like a quick chop quantization using levels and grooves. If you guys like the videos, give it a like. Again, check out the How to Make Beats book um, if you want to learn more. Thank you, guys.